welcome back to developer tutorial youtube channel you are watching the learning bootstrap series and as of now we have learned how to add a navigation bar with links and drop down and uh, so in this video we are going to see how to add a logo to our navigation bar as the navigation bar brand here and uh, which is nothing but a image file of course and also how to add a header image into a website so let's dig in I have prepared a logo and uh, I'm going to add it as you can see currently we have text simple text as the navigation bar brand we would want to have an image here so we will just add the image tag and I will add the logo that I have created and I will hit save so now when I refresh my page you will see that I have my logo but it's actually huge that I can't even see so what I'm going to do is I need to use a bit of CSS that will scale down this image to fit in the navigation bar when I hit inspect you will see you will see the dimension is 4786 into 993 pixel and that is huge for a logo so we will add a bit of CSS here to style is equal to max width colon 170 pixel now we will save it and hit refresh now you can see that my logo has been scaled down to fit into the navigation bar but it's still not aligned properly and the reason for that is the navigation bar brand has padding all around it of 15 pixel so we would like to adjust that using our CSS so we'll add a bit more CSS to our IMG tag we'll add the margin top colon minus 7 pixel the minus 7 I have just assumed that it would do my job and yes it does as you can see it is now aligned properly and when we reduce the size it stays the way I want it to be so that is how you will add the navigation bar brand let us now change the color of the navigation bar and the reason that I am inverting is I want you all to focus on a minor detail and that you will notice when I zoom into our page you will notice that the navigation bar is not stretched out completely to our website but there is a small curve right here so in order to take that curve away some people would not like that curve and want it to stretch completely so we will add a simple class to our navigation bar and that class is navbar static top when I use this class in my navigation bar my navigation bar stretches out completely as you can see the curves are gone so next let us talk about the banner that we are going to add to our website a banner is nothing but just an image we can add a banner to our website using either jumbotron that can be found in the components of bootstrap or we can use the page header well i'm going to use page header and to use that i'm going to add a div tag add the class is equal to page header and close the div tag within the div tag i'll add the img tag to add my header that is also known as banner so when I look at my website now I can see that I have an image but there's a problem when I scale it down you will see that the image doesn't scale down this is not a sign of a good responsive website so we need to make this image responsive and to do that we will add a class img responsive to the IMG tag and now when we hit refresh and when we scale down 
you will see the image scales down and our site is now responsive but you must be looking at this banner right now and you will notice that there is a slight gap after the end of the banner you can see when I inspect the image that uh, the image doesn't fill out completely the blue area is only where my image is so I would like my banner to be at the center of the website and also you will all notice that uh, there is a gap above my image right here and I would like to remove that as well I would like my banner image to be right next to my navigation bar and the reason for that gap is the padding and the margin of the page header class so we need to remove the padding as well as the margin so to do that I will add a new CSS file and let me first save this CSS file by the name style.css this will be a standalone CSS file that we will use in our index let me also link that CSS file into a HTML file I will just copy the line and uh, rename style.css now within that style.css file I will add two classes the first one is no margin margin colon zero pixel also a class no padding padding colon zero pixel and I will save it the reason that we are creating a new CSS file is that whenever we need to remove any such paddings or margin from any element whenever we would not like to have any padding we can simply add these classes to that HTML element and that is exactly what I'll be doing now I will add the class no padding and no margin to my page header class when I'll save it and hit refresh here you will notice that my banner has shifted a few pixels above that is the padding and the margins are gone now the next task that we had in our hand was to make this banner in the center you can see that there is a gap as I already showed you my banner is 1170 into 185 pixels so effectively when the screen size is less than 1170 pixel you will not notice any gap because our image is responsive it will scale to the size of the screen when it is less than 1170 pixel as you can see but when I increase when it is greater it will not scale so we'd like in an ideal situation for it to be at the center so how you will do we will simply add a new div tag within our header and add the class is equal to container and we would like our image to be within this container so we will close our div tag after it we'll hit save and when I hit refresh you will see that our banner has shifted to the center now the final thing is to check the responsiveness of the website you can clearly see the image being scaled down and how it remains at the center when the screen size goes down from large to small to medium large to small to extra small you can also see the navigation bar at the snap point you can also see the navigation bar showing responsiveness at the snap point the links and the drop downs are collectively going inside the hamburger menu and that's good well some people would like to have the banner above the navigation bar and that is very easy to do just cut this portion from the HTML and put it right above the navigation bar and when I hit refresh you will see that my banner has gone above the navigation bar so this is the end of the video we have added a navigation bar logo to our website a header image 
and make sure that our website remains responsive. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to us. Any type of queries, comments, suggestions are all welcome in the comment section below. So that's it. See you in the next one.